Hi, I'm uh, Warren Miller, and this is Rick Anderson. We're with Niali, and today we're going to talk about uh, coating this little case uh, 21F with Niali. Uh, it was uh, sprayed yesterday, but uh, we thought it'd be a good idea to give you a little background on what's happened to get to this point. So, I guess the first thing, Rick, uh, it's obvious that certain things are missing from the machine. Uh, you want to explain what's yeah. going on there? Yeah, the first thing we do when we get a machine in that we're, that we're going to clean and coat, uh, we do some panel removal. Uh, there's many reasons for that. Uh, the first reason is a lot of things we don't want to coat. For example, we've got this, this mirror here that came from up top. This mirror is something we don't want to coat any part of this. We don't want to coat the, the mirror side or, or the, the plastic on the back. Uh, we know it's not going to corrode and it's just going to get in our way. Uh, same with the light. The, the headlights that came from here, there were headlights on the back of the cab. It's just not things we want to coat. Um, and in, in addition to removing them because we don't want to coat them, by removing them we gain a lot of access to, to different parts of the machine. You can see in here this, uh, this air intake area for the, the cab air, in, air system. Uh, we've gained a lot of access here. We, we can get to this dissimilar metal, these, these screws this area that in here that's going to be really difficult for the customer to clean. So they're not going to take this apart every week or every month and rinse it right. This is what came out of there. So by getting this taken apart, we can clean it in here, we can coat it, and it's going to help it last a long time. Uh, also, plastic fender, we popped that off. Uh, it gives us really good access to get in here behind this, work on the frame, clean this, and coat it. And it's plastic, so we know it's not going to corrode. We'll just get it out of our way. What's the uh, aluminum foil all about? The aluminum foil is to protect these uh, these cylinder rods. We don't want to get any, any coating on the rod itself. It could damage the, the ring. Uh, we don't want that going inside the cylinder. So we, we, uh, we use the foil. It's a neat little trick. Instead of paper and tape, the foil goes on really quick. Um, and it, overnight, if, if something were to relax, It'll never get sucked inside the cylinder. It'll just bunch up. Okay. Um, notice the paper all over the glass. There's uh, obviously a reason there. <laughs> yeah, yeah. We uh, we don't want to coat the glass. Uh, it's, it's one of the few things we don't coat. And it's just easier to tape this and paper this. This might have taken uh, a, one guy would take an hour and a half to, to tape this. And it's, it's much easier than, than trying to remove the product off of the glass with a solvent-based cleaner. And that's just, that's, right. that's asking for trouble. Yeah. Now, if the guy's uh, doing this himself, is it absolutely necessary to remove the lights and the mirrors and, yeah. and they just mask over it? It's not, it, it's not necessary. They can take, uh, for example, the, the light that came from the top. Uh, this came from that top corner. He could take this and protect it. Uh, but he's really going to be missing access to a lot of the steel and the top of the cab behind that light. Gotcha. So you save time by removing it. In most situations, all we have to do is unplug two little plugs and uh, hit this bolt. So we save, honestly, we save time. It would have taken more time to tape it. But we've also, more importantly, we've gained a lot of things that would not have been coded otherwise. Okay. Um, so that's panel removal. And uh, removal of, of the uh, accessories. Right. Okay. Yeah, and we keep everything nice and tidy and organized. We've got, uh, if somebody's doing this, they buy a kit and they want to do one of these machines, we keep all of our parts in specific parts bags. Uh, we label it, these, these yeah. bolts came from that panel. Yeah. yeah. So another item that we remove before we do the coating, before we even, really, before we even wash the machine, are, are rubber gaskets like this. A lot of times you'll find them on access doors around around areas like this because it's going to touch the machine and they don't want it vibrating on, against the machine uh, under engine doors like this and the reason for that the reason we like to remove this is it is a soft rubber and nylac is a solvent based coating it's just not going to bond well with this it's going to stay tacky it's going to stay nasty for a long time um, but more importantly when we do remove it we're able to get this edge and it's very very important on metal panels not so much fiberglass and plastic but when we can coat this edge, a lot of times your corrosion is going to start on the edge and work its way back from that edge. Um, so it's very important we, we get the nylon on that, on that edge to help slow down the corrosion to begin so with. So a great tip for, for when you're 
when you're getting ready to wash the machine, it's going to come with a lot of grease, a lot of pre-delivery grease. Uh, you'll find it a lot of times in, in these pins and joints here on loaders, um, up here on, on the knuckle. Anywhere there's a, a king pin like this, you're going to find a lot of grease behind it. So a great tip is to just get some shop rags and, and take your shop rags, turn them, get your finger in, inside, and start to wipe this grease out. Wipe all these joints. Dig in here and get as much of this grease out as you can because when you start to pressure wash this thing, you don't want to blow that grease all over the rest of the machine. So 10 minutes worth of wiping could save you an hour worth okay, of wiping. Okay, so after the uh, panels have been removed, the fixtures and whatnot, uh, what's the next step? Yeah, then we're ready to move it into the wash bay. And the first step in the wash bay is removing any kind of road grime, uh, grease from these pins and joints. Uh, there's a lot of things we don't want to get on our brush, and, and one of the things that we've been running into recently, there's a lot of shipping coatings, protective coatings, especially when things go uh, overseas transport. Uh, we've seen a lot of waxes uh, and sacrificial coatings being applied to zinc plated and galvanized metals, Any, anything that's unpainted. Like cosmoline. Right, cosmoline is one of them for sure. Fluid film. Fluid film. And Nyalic just, it's not any good on top of a sacrificial coating like that. It's, it, yeah. it doesn't do any good. We've got to bond with the surface. So you'll see it on lug nuts, you'll see it on hydraulic fittings, king pins, and different various other plates and brackets. And the, the best way to attack that is with a hot water pressure washer uh, with a 25 or 40 degree tip, not a zero tip, nothing crazy. So you want to get a good fan tip and a really hot water pressure washer. And just start working on the, the lug nuts, start working on your hydraulic fittings, and you'll see the film and the wax start to peel off. Um, and, and the hot water is going to make a big difference. Yeah. If you can't get it removed with the hot water, and you, you're going to need something a little bit stronger, you just need to give us a call, and we can walk you through that. Okay, good. Okay, so advice. the next step is uh, washing. Yeah, yeah it's uh, time, to, time to wash this thing and degrease it and get it ready for the coating. Uh, this next step, is we're going to use our simple prep soap, and we're basically going to get this thing 99.9% .9 as clean as it's ever going to be with this soap right here. We're going to mix this uh, three to one in a five gallon bucket, and then we're going to, there's other, other tips that we have, I, we will, I can uh, talk you through those later. But this, but this is a degreaser. Right, that's a degreaser. It's a water-based degreaser. It's biodegradable, it's safe, it's not going to hurt the paint, it's not going to hurt your fingers, it's not going to hurt anything like that. So. Uh, basically what we're going to do is we're going to take this soap and this green brush. We're going to work in small areas at a time. So for example, I would scrub it on this area here, dip this scour pad in the same solution, and uh, gently scrub all of this area here. Uh, we want to work small areas at a time because we don't want the soap drying on the surface. And then just use garden hose and rinse that area off before you move on. This is our neutralizing soap. This is uh, Right Rinse. It's also water-based. It's biodegradable. Uh, the purpose for this soap is to make sure that none of this is left behind. This is a mild degreaser, but it is a degreaser. Uh, if any of this degreaser is left behind, it can speed up corrosion. So this is our neutralizing soap. This is right rinse. What we're going to do with this is mix it up in a garden pump sprayer, and we're going to apply it to the entire machine. The windows, the arms, the internals, the radiators, and then we're going to come behind that application and rinse it off with a, a fan tip on your pressure washer or a garden, uh, just a garden hose, that's fine. Do you have to scrub it? You do not have to scrub it. Just yep. spray it on. Yep. We've done such, a, work, such an intense scrub with the, with the green brush and the scour pad. Scrubbing is really not going to do anything else. Now all we need to do is neutralize. Okay. Great. All right, so we're ready to coat this thing. We've got it good, clean, and dry. Uh, the first step of our coating process, we use the aerosol can. The purpose for this aerosol can and what we're going to do with it is we're going to go around and we're going to hit all the nuts and bolts, hydraulic fittings, weld joints, um, all the little areas where, like for example, this plate where it's, this radiator is bolted to this. The, the coating is actually going to wick in behind those washers, those bolts, and those nuts. It's going to get in there and seal those areas. So we're going to go around the whole machine, hit the lug nuts, hit plates like this, all the nuts and the bolts, uh, hydraulic fittings, electrical connections. And we, we do that before we use the, the court form of the product, and it just helps to seal all of those tight little areas a lot better. All right, now that we've done the entire machine with, uh, with the aerosol can, it's time to load up our, our, our other gun. You can use an HVLP sprayer uh, with our court form of our product, 
and we are going to go around and coat everything. Even if we coated it with the aerosol, we're still going to coat it with this. Areas like this are really important. We've got a fuse panel, a lot of electrical connections. These are the things that if they corrode, you're going to have downtime. So we want to make sure that we can slow down and possibly reduce the corrosion in here the best we can. Uh, we're going to coat, the, like I said, the entire machine. Then we're going to close this door, coat the entire outside of the door, and move on and get the rest of it done. Yeah, the radiator back here, of course, it'll get the aerosol can and then the, uh, the coating of the, the main formula as well. All right, so we've got the machine coated. This panel that came off was coated as well. Everything behind here was coated. Uh, and Nialic has the gas off. It has to breathe for several days before the panels can go back on. Uh, once it's coated, you're looking at 48 hours before it can be reassembled. And so w when you do reassembly, uh, you'll have the, the panel ready and your bolts ready. You will soak these, I say soak, you'll just want to hit lightly these female threads. You want to set your bolts out, soak the male threads, line the panel up, screw it in, tighten it down. Once you tighten it down, you're going to want to come back and hit the head of the bolt again. Because as that bolt twists, it's going to tear the coating on the dry panel. And we want to reseal that so no moisture or fertilizer can get inside there. So, uh, how long does it take uh, beginning to end to uh, coat uh, 21F wheel oil? It's about 10 hours worth of work time, but it really needs to set up overnight, uh, especially if you don't have a paint booth. Yeah. It needs to set in your shop overnight and warm up. You can use tornado heaters, and that's something we can, we can walk you through. Is There's so many different circumstances where people want to coat their machines in their shops. Uh, so really a day and a half would be a, a really good ballpark number for one person. So okay. everything that you need to do the 21F case uh, is in this four-quart kit, the wheel loader kit, and if you go on our uh, shopping cart at uh, www.nialic.com, you'll find this kit, and uh, it's $2.99 uh, with free shipping. Yeah. So, uh, if you got uh, questions, give us a call, and Rick here will be happy to help you out. Yeah. Hey guys, hope you liked the video about the case loader we just finished. Uh, if you've got any questions, give us a call. Subscribe to our YouTube channel, leave a comment, like the video, check us out on Facebook, and visit us at www.nialic.com.